Ooh, don't start a new game there. Been a while since we since we've played this. LA Noir. We are playing now um on the arson desk because say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Because Michael Phillips here is uh not the greatest detective, so he was demoted. And arson is too suspect. Phelps, you got nothing. I never pick on an unarmed man. Same old shit. For you interview one. Farley's in two. Hey Hopkins, you practice your asshole one. routine again? Come on, Phelps. Yeah, so Arson's, you know, a downgrade from Vice. We were on the Vice desk. We did some... I feel like Vice was fun because, boy, anyway, we were lighting some coffee fools coffee. up with our gun. And I love murdering men. Now Let's go the into the interview room and... Well, no, hold on. No, not him. I'm going to interview the other one first. Where's the other one? So in this case, you know, we're on the Arson desk. Somebody committed Arson. They murdered. I mean, I guess. Was there? I mean, we have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to we do have is a lot of evidence. About this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. What'd you say, boy? So you're Reginald Varley, 28 years old. You're a male. Is that right? Hey, buddy, why don't you stand around some more while I sneak out that door? <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, all right. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Is that right? Are you, uh, I think you're lying to me, brother. Why are you lying to me, Varley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? How can you prove that I was? Boy, what do you think this is, my guy? Varley, is that, is that your name tag, huh? That's your name tag right there, Varley? Oh, dog, evidence. Heater service by Varley. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Got him. <laughs> Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I, I can't uh, let him know. I don't need no sweetener, dog. Just black. Hmm. Okay. You bum. Word is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> <laughs> you got principles, dog? How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. Hmm. No way. Suburban. Suburban. No way I can link you to Suburban. Hmm. Suburban redevelopment. Hold on a second. List of gas fitters. Clemens criminal record. Clemens criminal. <laughs> Varley's criminal record. Mosquito coils. Huh. Walter Clemens statement. Hey, this guy, buddy. he's an actor. Why don't you stand around some more while I mean, I all these guys the in the game are actors, but I mean, he's like a kind of famous one, I guess. The what one that was sketched. To cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure in getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took the money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Mm hmm What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You <laughs> out of your mind? 
No. Lion. I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? Oh. Oh, you know what? I remember looking in your locker one time, brother. And this was weeks ago. We haven't played this game for a long time. But I remember these coils. You freaking bum. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. You found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Oh, hang on! <laughs> Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker's full of stupid pamphlets. The guy in the other room. I thought he used them for camping. <laughs> okay. We're done for now. So what happens? Keep your you're cheeks going tight, back to boy. Detroit to face a murder rap. We're staying here to answer for these arsons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me try the controller for this game. You know, I've been using the controller for a lot of games lately. We haven't with this one, but might as well try it. Now the DA wants my head. Yeah, for those that don't know, I'm Corn. I stream story-based no open-world games here on the channel, such as this one and a whole lot more. Check out the playlist. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. All right. Uh, Ryan. Okay. You're 26. You're a couple years younger than the other guy, huh? Is that right? You think you can sweat me like this? Keep dreaming, copper. <laughs> Keep dreaming. <laughs> this is the 40s, I guess. Matthew Ryan. All right. Let's continue. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. Why would you? Dog, it's simple. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Well, uh, remember your boss, dog? The factory manager? Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay, so I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? Mm, I won't your tell own you. home. I won't tell you. Your own home, you freaking bum. Hmm? What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Tell me the truth, Ryan. It's the only chance you've got. You're getting some kind of kickback from the fund. So I'm an agitator for change, but I take kickbacks. How does that make any sense? Well, shit. You know what? Um. <laughs> hmm. Well, you, you're a freaking criminal. <laughs> shit. I don't think I should have accused him on that one. I should have just doubted him, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on. You criminal record. Mm. Advocate. Mm. Yeah. You know what? Looks like I was mistaken. <laughs> I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those Buy city stories later. Heck yeah. Grand Theft Auto for those that love it as much as I do. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? You're with the freaking boys, dog. You're one of them boys out here. Look at this pamphlet we just looked at. Huh? 
anarchist propaganda for distribution found in Matthew Ryan's locker. Ryan, that's the name tag, yes, just verifying. Yeah. Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clements told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. <laughs> you have a history of violence. I have no such thing. Boy. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you going to prove that? You do realize we're cops, right? Yeah, uh, and you're a criminal. You've done criminal activities. Um, I believe we have access to your records. You were charged with attempted murder, Brian. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. Mm. What would you do? Which company? As Fastos Water Heater Company. Right. Well, boy, what would you do? I would charge you because I'm a cop. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murder of partner. Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. Do you hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. You murdering scumbag. <laughs> Job well done. How Bounce. we do? What's, what's what up, sir? What you did to your wife and kids was on America. All right, My wife yeah. threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. He cheated. What I was going to say it's the 40s. before I was interrupted. Was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. Thank you, sir. We don't often get results in arson. So well done. What yeah, arson me? boys are dumb. Do I get a little stamp on my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. You get to be my partner, one, partner. Fortunately. <laughs> job well done. For the first time, it feels like the gas man. Case report clues found 16 out of 16. Questions correct 14 out of 15. Zero dollars in vehicle damage, zero dollars in injuries, one hundred twenty dollars in city damage. Matthew Ryan confronts the grand jury with four murder charges around his neck. Case closed. The gas man. Heck yeah. If you like that case, you should hit the like button down below. We got more open world games coming up. So you should subscribe as well as we get a flashback. Clear. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care uh. of him. It should be section that Jap lovers a fucking liability. We're here to Rock kill Star Japs, stuff. not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. Yeah, Rockstar published game. They them boys. Yeah, Phelps cheated on his wife with a woman. A walk-in. Legion Fields. And they frown upon that in the 40s. And I kind of like, I kind of dig that, you know? There's, there's no repercussions these days. What's the point of marriage? It's 
probably why I'm not married. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not bitter over it, but I don't think it's for me. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll see. Uh. House fire, bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is six fifty North Hobart. Hobart. All right, sir. It's looking real dreary outside. New point of interest, hey, arson victims. And children in the paper. Yeah, see. What a rat. Yeah. And the, how the random the people on the street know about you because he was in the newspaper about it. And now he's being shamed by everybody. In a way, that's pretty cool for accountability, having culture like that. But at the same time, you know. No, I kind of like it. <laughs> Isn't that the I like it, man. Are you gonna do a shithead thing? You gonna get some shithead comments. That's how it works. If I do a shithead thing, I'm gonna get some shithead comments. That's how it works. For Vice City Stories later, are you gonna... Going to be live at the normal... Yeah, normal time for sure. 9.30pm Mountain Time. Saturdays should, should be the only days I'm... Uh, I end up playing games later. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Vic? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. <laughs> New housing developments a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers. Any century, in any century, in a two in progress, 522 South Hill Street, in a damn three identified. He's still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? Fella kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Yeah. This game is great. I do think, like, in terms of, like, the open, like, the city, like, activities happen around sidewalks and stuff, there should be more things happening. But it is an older game, so I'm definitely not going to fault it in any, any way over that. But just in terms of, like, what I'd like to see is more stuff happening around the street. Uh... Look at that. I, I do love stuff like seeing the construction. Oh, oh. I don't want city damage or anything or vehicle damage. Yeah, it's 1130. You got that Eastern time. I think uh, that's probably where most of the viewership is, I imagine, is Eastern time. Maybe not live, but like just statistically. Whoa. This game has been great though. I've been loving it. I I thought it was bugged. I think I was just messing it up. And the, like uh, a few weeks ago, I stopped playing it simply because I couldn't get through that last mission that we just finished. Uh, I didn't know like what was going on. I think I was just, it just, um, it was kind of bugged in a sense because it wasn't letting me progress or fail. Because there is a way you can fail, but it wasn't making me fail, which didn't let me progress because I didn't succeed. <laughs> I bet, you know, it sounds complicated, right? In Hong Kong, 1.30 p.m., dang. I never have guessed Hong Kong. That's cool, I like Hong Kong. I mean, I've never been there, but I like it. House fire, 12.05 p.m. You don't have to be places to have to like it. Sleeping dogs. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do, man. I only puke a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. This baby. Talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Wow, moved. what? I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. 
I think the fire damage is post-mortem. Ah. I think someone moved him into this room after. That makes a lot more sense. Still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Hmm. I don't know, sir, but that makes more sense to me. <laughs> Dang. Look around. What are we doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Y'all knew that in the 40s? That, yeah, no. That makes a lot of sense, actually, that, that you would know that in the 40s. Okay. Oh, there's the family. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? Well, assuming and How it's... big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs. Assuming no, that's the I family, right? Show some respect. Why is this picture not burned up? And this just happens to be four of them like this? I don't know. <laughs> you know, you gotta explore all possibilities. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. It doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He's trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole Yo, family, Iser. and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Look at this. It might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oh. <laughs> evidence! <laughs> Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating pigs. Sir, yes, sir. It's probably not his wife. But, um... Can I look around first? I want to look around. I ain't trying to do nothing else but do my work. Cole Phelps is all about the job. This man knows how to do his job despite being a dickhead to his family. And cheating on his wife. And then he continued doing it as well. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Why stop? <laughs> oh, look at that. What do we have here, huh? Flyers. Hmm. Cool. Close by. This is one of the best Rockstar games ever made. They took so many risks but made a masterpiece. Yeah, this has been such a good experience. I've been seriously upset. I mean, not, you know, playfully upset about the fact that I couldn't play this game because I thought it was bugged. In a sense, it was, but in a sense, it wasn't, uh, but it was. Um, I just didn't take the time to try to fix it until tonight. And now that I can continue, I'm loving it again. We're, I think we're pretty close, honestly. Arson desk is like the last desk. There's a little doll there. And, you know, I don't want to just be quitting games on here. The only games I've really quit were the online ones. Like Elder Scrolls Online and Fallout 76. It's, it's too much. Okay, incidental. Too much. Not that I won't play those again. Who knows? Maybe... Yeah, welcome, welcome. Glad to see you again. Here we go. What's this? This isn't what we're looking for. Yeah, no. No, dog. I agree. For once, Phelps, I agree with you. Did I miss anything through here? Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go see what our partner's about. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. I ain't riding you, dog. That's nasty. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. Well, he was with Things the other kind of Marines. Farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not going to get this guy. There's going to be no photos and no citations. We're going to kill this miserable Mind oh, yo. End of story. You get Yeah, this? that would be so good. It's such a good show. It got canceled, right? Freaking remember dumb. the list from so the travel good. agent. Sure. The Morellis were winners, too. Their name was on that list. Mind Hunter. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. All right. Okay, I'll try this side. You calm now, partner? Maybe you should eat a I Snickers. Years. I don't think that... How bad is it? When did Snickers you come out? You don't look like a fireman, son. <laughs> okay. Up here. What's up, sir? I'm your daddy. Welcome. LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Well, uh, yeah. Don't want to have too high hopes for it, but it would be amazing if they made another season. You're 50 years old, sir. You're looking good. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. You sleep in, in the middle of the day? You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold I guess up. it's probably the morning, right? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. No idea. I never think about those things. Sometimes I experience them if it so happens. But uh, we'll see. Planned demolitions. You I mean, I don't think I. Houses down. I mean, I don't Elysian know. <laughs> Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. Nope. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. They make Morelli's weird faces sometimes. I don't know. New point of interest. You lying to me, sir? Why are you lying? Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Hmm. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. I'm going to examine you real thoroughly, sir. Can you turn around and undo your pants real quick? You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. Slap him during <laughs> You Ivan. know what up, Ivan? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was OG to thank Ivan. Things away. From back in the then fallout. Then I found out they were still in there. Three days. Who was running the competition? Right. What? Fallout New Vegas, maybe? I don't know. Dude, sir, you keep lying to me, and I don't like that. I need more, Mr. Foreman. Tell me what you know about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. I know nothing about it. I've never heard of them. All right, then, sir. You have a good day. I apologize for yelling. I just get real upset when you're lying to me. Let's go see what our partner is doing right now. Was that the only neighbor we could... Question? Yeah. Is that you, partner, at the door? You haven't even spoken to them yet? Oh, he's coming back out. Hey, partner, what you doing? What now? <laughs> Let me look at my... <laughs> Oh, I don't know the control or controls. Hold on a second. Need more from the neighbors, Cole. Keep working. Oh, there's more neighbors? Where? I guess I have to knock on the doors? Oh, there's a white dot over there. Wait, what? Isn't that the neighbor that I just talked to? Because it's not these guys. These aren't neighbors. 
This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Get out of here. I was walking down the street. Oh, they're actually moving. That's cool. LA Noir is underrated. Yeah, it seems so. I've been loving this game. I like, uh, I really like the investigation. Like, I like everything about it, honestly. I think it could have just been even more expanded upon, you know? More content, more everything. Boondockers With a second game, maybe. Yeah, Boondockers ain't it. I'm walking here. I'm just trying to walk up into his house up in there. What? Was that, uh, was I done talking to you, sir? All a man can do is put in a prayer for the dead. Right. That's about all I've got to say about it. Amen. Amen. Put in that prayer, sir. You do your work now. All right, I guess I'll go across the street and knock on the door. Maybe he just meant he was going to wait for me. I mean, he's still, like, he's still knocking on the doors himself. I don't understand why he wants me to knock on the doors. Mailbox? Yo. Where's the mailbox? Oh, right here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, dang. Nothing. Where are these neighbors? Can I sprint? Oh, right trigger is to sprint. Neighbor's mailbox. The other guy's mailbox too. Oh, hey partner, you're here? How do you knock on these doors? I don't understand what the guy wants me to do. Don't forget to do the thing. Oh uh, yeah, I know what you want me to do, girl. <laughs> Neighbor's mailbox. And there you go. Okay. Herschel, come on. Oh, he's knocking on the door. You do your job, I'll do mine. <laughs> Yo, dog, there's no neighbors coming out. I don't understand why you keep knocking on these doors and talking to nobody. What's your issue? How do I get my journal out? Ugh. Any ideas? We need more from the neighbors, Cole. Keep working. Keep working them. Where are the freaking neighbors, dog? How do I don't use a mouse and keyboard. That's what I've been using the whole time for the playthrough. I don't know if... No neighbors here, dog. What are you talking about? Where's my journal? Let's see. Intuition. Case objectives. Investigate residential house fire. Interview neighbor. It's just neighbor. It's just one neighbor. It's the guy I just interviewed. I, it's, I don't know if it's, if it's bugged or something. Search the houses, then talk to the neighbors. Yeah. There's only, it seems to be one neighbor and we just talked to him. Hmm. Blues, bodies moved, family photograph. Locations, can we go somewhere else? No, we're only at the house fire. Okay. Oh! What the hell, woman? I'm riding you up. Get the hell out of the car. She could arrest them, dog. He's backing up into me now. <laughs> Freaking bomb. <laughs> we squished. That hurt. Yeah, it's this white dot. You can see the white dot on the little mini map, but I can't talk to it anymore. All a man can do is put in a prayer for the dead. Yeah, let's search but around the back. I should probably search around more anyway. I, I don't. Interesting, though. Because it is showing the white dot on him specifically, and that's the guy we just talked to. Search around the back of the uh, the burned house too. Mm -hmm. Imagine the detective just jogging around your house. <laughs> uh, make sure there's nothing back here. Squish, squish. Thought I wasn't going to join because I was half asleep scrolling on Instagram, but here I am. Welcome back. Yeah, we are out here late. I didn't find this earlier. 
That's good, the insta heat thing. Let's Looks look at like the, the same model. Yeah, Reginald Varley, yeah. And uh, Ramon Neves. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. You can look this down. Is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Come on, man. Talk to me. All a man can do is put in a prayer for the dead. About all I've got to say about it. Oh, what was that? All oh, footprints. And cigarette butts. Look at this. Yo. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Interesting. Man, Distinctive brand. Look at distinctive footprints. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Boondockers. Okay. Investigate the basement. Hmm. Oh, look at this now, sir. Come here. It's because I didn't find his suspicion. I didn't find that activity to ask him about this stuff. That's why. Interesting. Yeah, so it's more of uh, what you were saying, I sir. Make sure to look around for everything. Suspicious activity. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. You want to slap, sir? I mean... I mean, he seems kind of bored. You're not lying to me? No, you're lying. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there oh. was a guy. Hey, yeah, uh... Kind of tall. Skinny, right. though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Three out of four. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Thanks, sir. You've been they helpful. Call. A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Mm. It's complicated. Japanese yeah. call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Mm. Indeed. I used to live in Japan. Hey, don't break it. He's unfolding it, dog. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? We want to buy your old For home Elysian today. Elysian Fields developments. Hmm. Elysian Fields. Yeah, Leyland Monroe is that guy's name on the bottom. Unfolding like oh, the story. I see you already have one. How Detective Phillips is not the best detective in the world. Building a better California, yeah. When did yeah. the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. We have a number now, though. Michigan 945. This wasn't on the bottom of the other one. Right? Did, did that matter? Yeah, we can use the phone now. Leland. Hey, Leland. How are you doing, brother? Go hop on over here. Use this phone. Use it, dog. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. No, Thanks. come on. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. What do you want? 
Captain. Commander? Leads in the Morelli Farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. <laughs> Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Hmm. Do you understand? Yes, sir. He just wants Good. to do his job, have sir. A report on my desk today. Freaking bomb. Let's go check Kelty the basement again. Off over I think we did go down there, but I don't think sense. that was thorough. Yeah. I don't remember. We check out Rancho Escondido. But I want to make sure I find sure. as much as I can. Let's go. Yeah, investigate Rancho Escondido. After how do you get down to this dang basement? Yeah, that little ding we've found. Opposite what? From outside? Another day, another dollar. Maybe I never went down there. Didn't I go down there? <laughs> Man. I could have sworn I was down there. Can you just hop on down? You can't just hop down like that? What the heck? Hmm. Yeah, you just have to, uh... More evidence in the... Oh, shit, come on, brother. Nothing in the shed. I mean, this is the only way you can, like, look into the basement, right? Can I go down here? Wasn't I in here before? How are you almost falling? <laughs> what are you falling over, man? Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah. I thought I was like, for some reason, I could have sworn I was in there. Because I remember being in water, like squishing around in water. Unless I'm like, my brain is giving me flashbacks of another game. Because that happens sometimes in my brain. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, head on over. My partner drive. Wait, how do, which button is it for the. Uh... You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Yeah, there we go. And where exactly are we going? Rancho Escondido, dog. Incomplete Elysian housing development destroyed by fire. Come on, partner. Nice town. Yeah, Blue Room Jazz Club. That's where um, Phelps was having his willy guzzled. Howdy, partner. What up? Moderator Samuel. You know, Rancho Escondido, 5 p.m. really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. Samuel out here playing ARP with the, the Western mods. Or not the mods, but whatever the thing is. I'm not going to tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a fray. son of a bitch. Oh, you can't come be punk. The hell, sir? Oh, hold on. I, I yeah, don't know how to fight, fight, fight with a controller. Says. I've never done it. Hold on. Stop I'm getting a GI. Okay, dodge is that. Stand down. That's an order. Yeah, I got it now. I got it now. Lumped. Freaking son of a bitch. Oh, you miss me, boy. What do you think this is, you? S Come here. Come here. Huh? You look like. Oh, shit. You look like an old man. Huh? Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, dang, nice hook. <laughs> Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. I like those leather police jackets. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. Cool stuff. 
I, su I uh, support leather in any capacity at any time. Under any circumstance. If you want to click the link, boys. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> what is around here? Oh, yeah, you can look behind you, right? Hmm. See. There's a whole lot of... Man, what the hell are you supposed to... Look in this whole freaking place. This is huge. This is why arson never has leads, cause they're too too much work. <laughs> what the hell? These uh, you're supposed to like look around all this or what? Seems like a lot. That okay. All right, partner. Matchstick houses. <laughs> they just go and go up in flames. What's up, fire truck guy? Anything interesting around here, sir? Another residential. I hate residentials. You should take a look around. Oh boy, I should take a look around. It's a whole lot of freaking burned houses. That's all I'm seeing, partner. What the hell you think I'm supposed mm, You sons of bitches. This is why they put him on the arson desk, huh? But I'm the one playing, Phelps. I'm the one suffering for your freaking mistakes. What the hell? You don't have Eagle Eye in this game either. <laughs> that would be useful. Like Eagle Eye, like in Days Gone and Red Dead Redemption. Let's see. I mean, like, everything looks exactly the same to me. You can't really enter the little houses. You can just kind of look around, I guess. getting some exercise I mean realistically if you want to do a good job you gotta have your boots to the ground <laughs> yeah I'm thinking I'm gonna just go on over to Elysian Fields at this point I'm not fine I'm not seeing anything of interest so far. Yeah, this game is why Eagle Eye was invented. This w That would be the perfect kind of mechanic. Some kind of sniff out mechanic to lead you along. Especially for like a big place like this. But I mean, for now, I think, uh, where's our car, partner? Where'd you park it? Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have plenty more story-driven games coming up. And we haven't finished this one yet. We are getting close, though, I believe. The arson desk is the last desk. Playlist is in the description. We we played this, quite, you know, a little bit. Like 20 hours so far. You know the way. You can drive. So where do you want to go? Get in, sir. Where's he at? Oh, he's, yeah. He's not as fit as Phelps. We are not going to. Yes, we are. Oh, there's another desk? No. Oh, yeah, there's, okay. I thought it was like, um, like a short thing, though, or something. I don't know. Elysian Fields, 5 p.m.
You are a short thread, Phelps, or a thin thread, whatever he said. Alright, sir. Hello, woman. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. To see Coin. Uh, Do you have an appointment? We're the independent. Police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. Yes. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. And Coin. Send them through. And my credentials are right here, girl. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. Just admiring your hard work. And that deal sent me flying. <laughs> Yo, Faye, how you been doing, girl? Can I help you, gentlemen? Oh, you got two receptionists or what? Well, oh, the ones we gotta this go the, to get to this. Guy. Yeah, this is the assistant. The one down there is the receptionist, buddy. What's your name again, sir? What's hold on a second. Partner is Herschel Biggs. <laughs> yeah, Biggs. <laughs> the one downstairs is the receptionist. This one's the personal I would assistant. I'd like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Mm. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? <laughs> I find that offensive. Dang. You have every right to. This is getting oh. us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? Or it a fist? It won't be necessary, gentlemen. Oh. Come into my office. Got it. Let's go, Biggs. Like a cigar. Look at this. Drink, boys. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs. Look at this. 91, 50. 98, 20. 10, 2, 50. <laughs> that, that's how you say numbers. That's how that works. Nice place you got here, sir. I love it. It's beautiful. You got a big-ass office, dog. You got like a whole place for tea and stuff too. Wow. I saw that tea kettle. I don't drink much We're of it myself. A series of domestic fires. Yo, Joker, welcome back. Terrible boys. How can I help? Uh, this guy's a famous actor too, right? I know your face from freaking anywhere, sir. I don't know your name though. The cops here had the we. <laughs> can we speed this up a little, sir? I'm. The detective, you're, going, you're on my time now. You know, I don't get paid very much. Leyland Monroe, 52 years old. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, <laughs> Mr. Monroe? <laughs> that is not Willem Dafoe. Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards, good show as well. and I advertise for sellers using Waybill. You got that little smirk going there, sir. You crazy, huh? We found a family burnt out <laughs> in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our you information care, is that they didn't want to sell. Just calm your ass, dog. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Oh, it is. Every time we find a family barbecued, we find one of your flyers. Mm. Is that good advertising? You getting flustered? No. See? He doesn't care, man. He's stoic. He's a stoic man. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. You're freaking lying to me, dog. Hold on, though. Let me look at my notebook. Just because I have the thing doesn't mean that it's proof that he knows about it. <laughs> your company can do this stuff without your no knowledge. Elysian Fields Flyers, yeah, promotional flyer. So if I call him out on the lie, this doesn't prove that he knew about this, right? Just because he's on it. I mean, <laughs> win a trip. <laughs> I don't know, man. That seems like, like you got to know about that, dog, right? Feel like it. Footprints close to burnt house tread pattern. Yeah. I think it's like really only a doubt situation. Yeah. Go to both sites before him. Can oh, we speed interesting. This up a little? 
Oh, dang. So we didn't like, we were supposed to like find more, huh? Hmm. Two families are dead, Mr. Monroe. This isn't a question of criminal liability. We're looking at conspiracy to commit murder. Do you know who you're talking to, Yo, son? Yo, Diamond Fox, you welcome back. You want to use incendiary language like that with me? Incendiary. I suggest you should leave immediately. Incendiary, sir? You're going to use that kind of language of all language you could have used just now? All the houses burned out there? We've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? Bulletproof otherwise, dang. You work around them. Uh-oh. Business finds a way. That's the American way. The captain would like that, though, right? You freaking bum. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. The waste Answer basket. Your question. Yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. The arsonists. Do you have any suspects? Yo, mama. Not at liberty to say. I didn't think so. Right. Yeah, and we're not at liberty to say. Contract as I use for waybills. You suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names. If it'd be of any help, that would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Mm. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. I'm always happy to have you help us. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? <laughs> uh, Biggs is the type of Let's man to scare. Help, you weren't of help, ma'am, but thank you for thinking you were. That's the attitude to have. Go get him, girl. Hey, ma'am, you were the one that were of much more help. Goodbye. Your boss is a fine man. Oh, she doesn't say anything. See, she knew she was great. <laughs> All right, let's go, big Stang, man. Okay. So yeah, so Rancho Escondido. We need to investigate the residential f house fire, and Elysian Fields and Rancho Escondido. We didn't investigate all three of them, still? That's crazy. Okay. I never use the intuition as... A, as I should probably use the intuition. Every now and then. What do you think? Check the list. We need to know who's posting the flyers. What? What you talking about? What list did he just... What not? Close dog back. He didn't give us a list, dog. What are you talking about list? Did he just give us a list? And he said he'd be happy to help the LAPD. That doesn't mean anything. What are you talking about list, dog? You freaking... Why is this man randomly telling me to do things? You just confused me more, Biggs. Get in the Can car. Can you drive to this one? Freaking bomb. All right. Where to? Yeah, we're going back to the... What's it called? Um, Escondido. Check the list. Look at that. Welcome to... There's gotta be something here though, right? There's nothing here. There's gotta be something here. But it's just so big. Now I see the hesitation. Yeah, I mean, maybe I shouldn't just. Yeah, I want Eagle Eye, man. That's the only thing. I don't want to, like, run around this whole thing again. Mm -hmm. Come on, partner. 
This place is too daunting. Arson is terrible, man. You need to be a better detective, Biggs. We were having fun in Vice. We were doing drugs, murdering men. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? I mean, cause... <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, you gotta wait on him. Yeah, might find something better here. But this is like the office, right? Not the, uh... Go back. <laughs> go back where? Where are we going back? Yeah, because this, this would be the office. I'm not sure if we can do much more here, right? Find a loose brick at Rancho Escondido? A loose brick? Oh my god. You're behind the wheel. I don't know about finding a loose brick right now. Hmm. Hold on a second. Bodies moved, family photograph, houses to be de demolished. Yeah. Morelli neighbor's yard. The origami crane, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Investigate Elysian Fields, investigate Rancho Escondido, investigate Residential House Fire. For some reason, we didn't even finish the first. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Well, let me go All to right. the House Fire again. Where to? Oh, it's been a while, yeah. That's the latest thing. This is an older game, too. This is still good, still holds up. Because usually once you're done at a place, in your journal it'll kind of like, uh, or Phelps will mark it out as being done. So there's something here that I haven't finished because otherwise the location would be marked off. Pretty sure, pretty sure that's how that works. It has been a few weeks, two months. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay, let's see. Go around. Just in case. Hey, I oh, here we go. I didn't find this. Look at that. Boom. Press A to see the story behind this headline. Housing development burns. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you help me to find it. Good stuff. Yeah, I'll get there in time, man. Let's go, partner. I mean, I'm not you even know the manually way. driving. 
So what a lot of want? the time I would just straight up manually drive everywhere. Takes even longer. Okay, here we are. So how do you even do this? Intuition. I mean, is that even a thing? Use intuition at, at places to see things? I thought that's just for asking questions. Use intuition points to aid your investigation. Yeah. I've never even used them. But there definitely has to be something here. I should drive around here instead of park at the entrance. You know what? <laughs> I don't know why. I, I should probably just look it up instead. I'd rather do that because vague instructions are not going to help. They're just going to make it take longer. Let me see. Uh, examine the side of the building to your right to find a poor cement quality. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's... <laughs> what the hell? Right there. What are you looking at, dog? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let me tab back onto there. Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? You'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. <laughs> built on the cheap, yeah. That makes sense. The scam. Look at that. What the hell, dog? <laughs> if we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. That's... Of all the places, it's that one little spot with the brick. Seems ridiculous. It was. <laughs> Is that really the only spot you can find that little brick at? Because I mean, all the houses have the same thing. So shouldn't you be able to examine any of the houses? That makes more sense. Yeah. Sometimes game mechanics don't make sense. Okay. You can drive. See, now, yeah, exactly now, the, now both of them are crossed out. Perfect. Now we can only go to Elysian Fields. And we're going back. Yeah, I think we found, um, the last thing at the house fire, which was just the newspaper that I missed. Then we found that brick. And now, we brick this woman in the face if she doesn't let us in, right? Coming back in, woman. Remember me? We're from earlier. Oh, this. oh what's this? <laughs> Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front of the car? That's the cop who called Can I her. talk to any of y'all? The heck? The heck? I'm gonna suck the hell out of you. Oh, I'm gonna suck I the hell I out of your mama, that. boy. You shut your mouth. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. Five years from now in 19... What? You're a real asshole. I, think, I guess... It, what, what year is it? 1948? 
or something. I forgot, to be honest. Come on, you could tell That's me. That's the swine. Look at him. Five years from now. I mean, even five years from now, everybody's jobs will not be done by robots. 47. Hmm. Oh, hey, girl. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Look at this. Names. David, Ashworth, Leon, Thomas, Michael, Muldoon, Herbert Chapman, Paul Jones, Joseph Bradley. I mean... Herbert Chapman is Herbert on this list. Chapman. Find the phone. We need to know where hmm. we're at with Chapman. Herbert, okay. Find the phone. Ma'am, can't I just use your phone, girl? Shit. What's wrong with you, girl? There's a phone down here. Olive oil comes from olive. What is America going to understand? Where does baby oil come from? It's not about getting. It's about giving. What's about giving, you know sir? That face? That's the guy that busted all those Negro drug fishers last week. Yeah. I got all them Negroes, sir. Where's the phone? Is it one of these? I'm looking at phones right here, but I can't interact with them. Can I use your phone, girl? I'm on top of the phone icon, that's why I thought I could use one of what those phones. What are you liquored up? What are you liquored up? Yeah, get I mean, you. I guess it's mostly in the 50s and 60s they drank, like, whiskey and stuff. But I think in the 40s too, right? That drink, be drinking alcohol on the job. Where the... The phone is not in here, man. Hey, buddy. Yeah, maybe the receptionist lets me use her phone. Can I use your phone, girl? No. This is no battle of wits between you and me. I don't understand why. There's one out here. Let's go to this. Because there's a phone icon. It just... I couldn't find the phone. And it was... It only showed up when I went downstairs. So it was definitely something downstairs. <clears throat> Phelps, that's 447. How could I help, Detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, Detective. Hmm. I'm sorry, Detective. It's not your fault. If you give me a last known address, I'll put out an APB on the guy. Traffic noises. I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks. Thanks, man. Don't try to cheer him up again, okay? Don't ever say you're sorry. That ain't your job. I love the chase till oh. the minute I win it. A beautiful face to learn love for me in it. Give me a heart and baby. That's his woman. Phelps woman. His new girl. Right? I think that's her. Again, it's been a while since I've played. Buy me a drink, Cole? No! Not even for old time's sake? Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? No. Nope. I wouldn't give you the pleasure. We'll get around. Old partner from Vice. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... the threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. He's not that good. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron, boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. Elysian Fields. Elsa's apartment, 8.45 a.m. That means go to Elsa's apartment. Yeah, Earl delivered it. You? 
He got his, uh... Started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe was an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. <laughs> Everybody, huh? You ever think it might just be you guys? KDBL <laughs> calling the car 11K, 11K. Uh, yeah, 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Yeah. Roger it's... that, KGPL. 11K Men... en route. Men Let's typically have up. that drive, that's for sure. They want that you booty. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Interesting. Okay, Chapman's apartment setting his destination. And we are on the way now. How do I turn my siren on? Left here. Le what you mean left here, dog? We're not going left. This is this man keeps giving me the wrong directions. What's wrong with that guy? Oh, we do have a... Uh... There we go. Radio. Welcome to 1940s radio. It's just piano music I found on YouTube. Sounds nice, though. Ooh. God's sakes. <laughs> Ouch. Shut up, partner. That was an accident. I was trying to figure out how to honk. Or use my siren or something. Sorry! My partner isn't the greatest driver in the world. Oops. That rarely happens, too. Hitting pedestrians like that? That's the worst thing you can do as a cop. The destination was quite far. Yo, what the f- Ah. Oh, the horn is... L3. Byron. No matter how old you get, Corn, you will always look young. You will always feel young as well, no matter how old you look. <laughs> if you ow, no! crap. You have the uh, young energy. Even old people can have young energy. Don't let people lie to you. You can have a very energetic mindset. Nookie, it's like. Uh, Probably a sexual activity. 9.29 a.m. Chapman's apartment. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him, too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah. A couple of hours, Down wow. Somewhere. There's some kind Let's of problem. Let's take a look at the car. He's the dirty cop from the newspapers. Dirty cop. Let's see what he's hauling around. in here 
Mosquito coils. And hard evidence. Hmm. Burn slowly. Yep. Put that down there. 50 ammo. 45 caliber. Okay. Should revise the APP. He's clearly armed. Yeah, he's got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds out of that box. <laughs> clearly armed. There you go, let's see. Definitely gives him opportunity. Yeah, true. Anything else, Phelps? Nothing? Holy cool. There he is, it's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit, he's seen us. Cops, <laughs> again. Oh shit. I'm gonna get him, boy. Can I murder this man? Son of a bitch, he must have caught the trolley. Let's we get gotta him. move fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars right. dispatched. Hail the Car 11K calling KGPL. Hail the trolley. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Wow. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Wow. Roger, 11K. All units, officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. Yeah. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. He's right in front of us, brother. Fire truck. Fire truck couldn't stop it. That'd be a lot of damage, I guess. That fire truck probably needs to stop fires. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. You didn't think about that earlier, dog? Alright. I need to be close to Phelps! Get him. Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tramp, we'll be there to grab him. Look at that. End of the line, you little prick. <laughs> End My of the Cole. line. Yeah, imagine losing him. He'd be real bad at your job. Won't be real. Oh shit! Got you, you bum. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Well done. Yeah. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Search him. Can we search him? Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Yes, Anyone sir. else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. Mm -hmm. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I Easy or normal. Wipe him off the I usually play on normal or hard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? We'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. Because <laughs> most games, difficulty levels are just dumb. The De developers are lazy. They just make it dumb scaling. It's like whack. It's not. I don't like it. I prefer like AI based difficulty. <laughs> Where the NPCs are harder. And good developers, even back in the day without AI, can make from NPCs better His or worse. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He... 
hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Where's your daughter, Phelps? In the big beginning of a gaming history to easier medium. Yeah. For me, it depends on, on the game. Like, if I feel like it's a type of developer that is lazy, hard is not going to be... <laughs> It's just gonna like, I don't like when hard difficulty is just scaled up, like where the enemy is stronger and you're weaker. Like to me, that's not difficulty. It's just dumb. It's just time consuming. Cause then you, all you have to do is learn the patterns. Then you learn patterns. It's like, I don't care, man. That's not what I like. I like when the, the NPCs become smarter, they dodge more, they do you use different tactics. Stuff like that I would definitely prefer. But if it's just damage-based scale, I don't like it because there's no point. I, if I want, like, realis realistic battle where if I shoot them in the head, they're dead. That's hard for me because then if I get shot in the head, then I'm dead, right? $574 in damage. Yeah, that was probably one of the most. Case closed. 13 out of 13 clues found. 5 out of 7 questions correct. A walk in Elysian Fields. But, I mean... It depends on what you find fun. House of Sticks. Nightmare mode is ass. Batman. I'm considering Batman. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Hmm. Elsa Lichtman, 6000 West Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood, Los Angeles. He's, he's the one reading this out loud. September 23rd, 1947. <laughs> Dear Miss Lichtman, pertaining to the matter of policy number something and the sudden death of Mr. Luis Jan Bulkwater, Walter, I am writing to inform you that the blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, got it. Twenty thousand dollars. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign. Welcome to the investigator's desk. Look at this. This is wild. I don't accept the settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A two hundred dollar policy with a twenty thousand dollar payout? You should I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay, let me get the case file. I love the music. Jack. Hmm. He'd probably be like... Like, like 50. He'd be dead. <laughs> He'd probably be like in his 50s, right? Because when he had his Red Dead Redemption in 1911 or 1914 or something like that. I think it was 1914. He was already like... A grown man, right? So he would have been like, like early twenties or something, in nineteen fourteen. I don't remember his age, but something like that. Oh, what are we looking at? <laughs> Legion Fields developments. Yeah. There's got what? to be more in these files. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. California Fire and Life policy number twenty three. Yeah, Elysian Fields. Not exceeding nine hundred dollars. City of Los Angeles. What am I missing here? Policy number. Eighteen ninety-four. Dang. Yeah, that boy old. <laughs> that boy will be dead. By these times, that's for sure. Um, I mean, you could, obviously, humans could live as, <laughs> could be alive, but, you know, lifespans weren't as long, stuff like that, plus his kind of lifestyle. 
I mean, what am I, the heck are you looking for in there, dog? I don't see nothing something in there. else in that report. I know it. What do you mean? What did I miss? What do you mean something else in that report? Normandy Avenue subdivision. Like, <laughs> you can flip it. Oh my God. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, while in the employee of Elysian Fields Development, Luis, you know, on Tuesday, 8.30. I'm, I'm going to read this out loud, actually. I'm going to read it out loud. While in the employ of Elysian Fields Development, Luis Jan Volkwalter was killed when the roof of property on which he was working collapsed. On Tuesday, 20th of January, at approximately 8.30 in the morning, Mr. Volkwalter, Walter, I don't know how to say his name, was ascending the roof of structure of a property at the Normandy Avenue development when a fault in the ridge beam caused it to sag. Witnesses report that Mr. Was, uh, the Mr. slipped and attempted to right himself by holding on to a seat ceiling rafter <clears throat> but the rafter broke M the mister fell approximately 23 feet to the ground his falling weight caused several ceiling joists to snap and and these fell inward along with a part of the prefabricated roof truss well, they use a lot of whole lot of freaking words up in Sounds here Doug. like your friend took a hell of a fall Sorry for your loss. Yeah, I'm still reading it, sir. An autopsy later revealed that Mr. was... His cranium was shattered. Yeah, okay, cool. Sustained significant internal injuries and dependent testing of the ridge beam and truss had determined that the faults were in the timber, which were undetectable prior to installation. Witnesses report that Mr. was following all safety procedures. It is the opinion of this investigator that the death of this Mr. constitutes a genuine and unavoidable industrial accident and uh, no faults can be ascribed to Elysian Fields development. The insurance benefits associated with this policy should be paid in full to the designated beneficiaries. T uh, Timothy Lee, Senior Claims Investigator, March 1st, 1947. Oh. Okay. Is there anything on here? Can you flip this? Read the coordinates on the blue sheet, okay. I did tap that earlier, but... Does it do anything? You just have to read it. 34, 4, 29, 118, 17, 58. Hmm. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? <clears throat> of course not. Important for later. All right, Elsa, you're 30 years old. You, uh, we do know you from uh, the man you be seeing. <laughs> you're a beautiful woman, I get it. Jazz singer, you're not that great of a singer. I've heard you before. You're okay. Not bad, though. Um, okay. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Buckwalter. What are you talking about, Ms. Lichtman? This was an industrial accident. How do you know that? Because it says right here in black and white. <laughs> do you believe everything that you read, Mr. Carso? Aren't you the detective? Yeah, I did truth on that one. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were... Which is a lie. <laughs> you don't have to tell him. expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk well i'm not buying it i think you should tell me what the hell is going on right now ma'am you really want to know yes ma'am yes. we were interned together on ellis island resident alien germans whose parents had been killed by nazis resident alien good tv show shout out that, mr Kelso. we spent four years there right okay so the roof collapsed. Accidents happen. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated.
I believe you. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. Mm -hmm. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. Eddie. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. You like what, what kind of strain you, you like, Mr. Kelso? All right, Miss Lichtman. Tativa. One final question. Yes. What's your address? <laughs> Is that usual? Yeah. What's your? Yeah. I'll give me some. <laughs> Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter. Yo, the fix the tracks. I think I've seen something like that. Photorealism. Not the phone number. I've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter, though, that's for sure, with uh, Cyberpunk. Some sauerkraut, because <laughs> it's been used up mm, old. <laughs> yeah. Bye, girl. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. All right, then. Yo, we're Jack yeah, Kelso we're now. Up. Dang. We a tidy man now, huh? We're not Cole Phelps. We're not a, a Marine. The watermark. I, I had a different one before. It used to just be the words coin with a check you mark. Coming? And then I changed it to the gold coin for a little bit for like a couple weeks. And now it's the platinum coin. But yeah, so that's been, that's pretty new. Actually, I think I changed it the day we launched the store. That's actually tr true. That's right. I I changed the platinum coin on the stream to when we launched the uh, the streetwear and merch store. Check it out. Coin.cc slash inventory or slash shop, whatever. Just the website. It'll, you can see it. Oh, yeah. These men golfing in their offices. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Oh yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I Drinking Elsa Lickman whiskey. In the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. <laughs> like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. Fine pair of lungs. He was killed in an industrial accident working for uh -huh. Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Ms. Yeah, Lichtman that's why you're golfing, huh? serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. She didn't seem it's strung out to me. generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. Wow. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Benson. Your form sucks, by the way. <laughs> Look at that. That was bad, dog. What, bad you, what you doing up in there? On, you Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, man. Thanks, kid. Oh, kid. Skip to your destination. Oh, that's cool. So you don't, you can't even, because you don't have a partner. You just, uh, you know, you're an insurance guy. You got to drive yourself, but you can skip the, the, the travel. You hate Jack the most. Uh, Mr. Benson. Elysian Field Site, 11.18 a.m. Subdivision office, okay. Hello, I'm an insurance adjuster or something. <laughs> I don't know what insurance guys do, man. I don't know what they're called. Cement delivery receipt. Yeah, Elysian That's Fields. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. 
one fourth graded aggregate base building sand course. My dad, yeah, my papa never taught me how to make this kind of cement. I never heard of this kind of cement in my life. Right? Because all our dads teach us how to make cement. That's right. Mm hmm. Especially 40s men. Every 40s man knew how to make cement. Yeah. City of Los Angeles Department of Building and Safety Order of Demolition. The City of Los Angeles Bulldozing pursuant to section. Starting again. Yeah. Bulldozing. Good summary. There you go. He commits insurance fraud. Yeah, makes Leland sense. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Mm. Leland, delays will not be tolerated. The Legion Fields Development Site. Frank Osterman, Leland Monroe. Yeah. True that, Faye. We do have schedules. Or <laughs> schedules. We do have a uh, playlist on the channel. Hey, you just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a little And you deaf? Of all the people that could have been in the you? stream, man. Looks like you do. <laughs> oh, oh. Boy, you trying to throw these hands, boy. Oh. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. Just a one two and he's down. He's about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, Bay. smart guy. She's based There's on nothing there. Bay. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. From Cowboy Fine. Bebop. As long as you're out of my sight. As long as you're out of my sight. I just beat your ass, boy. Of course you want me to out. Can I get my hat? Can we pick that back up or what? There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Demolished house. Here we go, Normandy Avenue subdivision. Cowboy Bebop is real? Yeah, it's real. It's a real anime. Demolish the Legion Fields house. Place falls Eleven down, and then they bulldoze it. Thirty-four a.m. What gives here? This guy must have escaped from the loony bin. Can I speak to you, sir? Do you know anything about this construction? Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. Oh, no. Get back here and apologize. What? Get back here and apologize. <laughs> yeah, she she gets a little big for her britches. Uh, I'll tell you what. Trouble, you know Let's try to piece this together. Really? We're gonna piece this together, yeah. dog? Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Wind. Piece this together. That's not that? right. Okay. Why are we piecing this together, sir? Right, get the other piece then, I guess. No, the other one, man. They don't quite fit. Get, pick up a different By one, way, please. He stone him. <laughs> he stone him. <laughs> Not in your life, Buster. There you go. He stone films. He stone films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? I mean, I don't know why you had to put them together. Couldn't you just read that using your brain? You saw the words sitting there, dog. You don't have to put the beams physically together. Oh my god! Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Oh shit! What the hell, dog? <laughs> it said to shoot at it to slow it down, right? I think it was saying that. <laughs> Shoot at the driver to slow down the bulldozer. Oh, it's actually a hard mission? Interesting. Oh no, yep, yep, he got me. Oh, I shouldn't have. I guess I should have just kept going, to be honest. I feel like I should go faster, but he was going slower than last time, which is interesting. 
Okay. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Fuck. Oh shit, yeah. Oh, his thing was down. I see. Okay. <laughs> maybe. I think I get it, maybe. Don't skip. No, we got this. I forgot you can do that in this game. They allow you to skip if it's too hard for you. Son of a bitch. Okay, up. Oh, I'm gonna hop over this one. Dang it. Hop over, dog. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Son of a bitch. Go dog. <laughs> too slow, too slow. Oh my god. Come on, Jack. That's kind of cool, to be honest. Oh my god. I I don't know. I'm, I love when games have stuff like this. <laughs> it's just so intense. Hold the left trigger to target the driver. Oh, maybe I can stand on him, right? I saw his head. Will that work? I wonder. But I feel like once you get to the end... You might be able to be... Or you might be fine at the end. Oh, uh, what? Okay, yeah, don't do that. It doesn't seem to work well. Oh, he's he almost got my dog. Look at that. Yo, wow. Quick. Run, Forrest, run. No, he got me. No. I feel... <laughs> uh, this is interesting. An interesting mechanic. Okay. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. What happens if you just keep going, man? Go, go, go. Seems like you you do kind of have to shoot him at some point. Otherwise, he has too much momentum. Oh, go, dog. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Okay, after I get over... Okay. Oh, 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 no, he got me again. He got me again, dog. He got me again. Oh. What? Yeah, I tried that before. It seems like he hits me every time immediately once I try shooting him from up on those things. Like he builds up too much speed if you stand on them. But it seems like you're supposed to shoot like a couple times to slow him down. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot a little bit more often. Oh, shit. Come on, Jack. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that was all you're supposed to do is like shoot him more often when you're running away. Because it does slow him down. Interesting. <laughs> Construction workers just... Okay. Let's use this phone, shall we? Oh, what the heck? There we go. Life out here. He's dull as dishwater, but I'm not with him for the conversation. Top of my class, back east. Jack Kelso, now California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is. 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Dang. Yeah, he's still upset, and that makes sense. Heading on over to Keystone Film Studios. L.A. Noir, the Keystone Film Company, 11.53 a.m. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? Get I found some, some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Is that right? Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, <laughs> I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Couple of bucks. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Yeah, he's going to get that cup of coffee. We got some coffee as well. Some coin gear. Thank you, Faye. Hop on over. <laughs> this looks nice. This looks like a nice place to do crimes at. Love it. Check it out. Fire up, boy. A to select. I see. What? I know. There we go. <laughs> Side effects guaranteed. There we go. Got it. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor, District Attorney Donald Sandler, and Police Chief Wallace. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Mm. Gammon. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the suburban redevelopment. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. 
doctor. District attorney, Donald Sandler, and police chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Mm. Here, here. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? You cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. Dang, really? <laughs> They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, yeah. Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Anything else in here, though? In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The suburban These redevelopment scumbags fund out here, huh? Housing development for returning oh, Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's Vice President of the California Fire oh, Alliance. Sorry, Pleased anyway. to meet you, Doctor. We Ray already Gordon, put it in editor there. of the Times. Doctor. Uh, District Attorney, Don right. Sandler, and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen. Let's go find a phone around here. Or a game well. I need to find a phone or a game well. I don't know what a game well is. Here's a phone right here, though. See? It, can I... Oh, I could use it. Operator, can you I put think me I could have used any of those phones in that office before if now? I just pressed the right button. Interesting. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Mm -hmm. Jack! How can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thanks for your help. He just goes right away, huh? The Blue Room, 9.04 p.m. That was a very average girl. I liked it though. Man, a line for that? That's crazy. I'm sorry, girl, but I don't know. You would have a line out the door if you were 
a singer today. Maybe a line on YouTube. You know, you could be a live streamer, girl. You'd be have a lot of people watching you on YouTube. <laughs> or OnlyFans. What's wrong, Phelps? You good, dog? What were you doing with him? What do you mean, what were you doing? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Yeah. Why do you snarl at me? You jealous, dog? Your wow. friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risk. <laughs> That's Can true. You with that? <laughs> oh. Elsa. I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. She seems like a decent enough woman. He made a terrible decision choosing him of all people, though. I mean, she could have chose any man, right? Why Phelps? Phelps is like an angry freaking marine. Why the word abbreviation so long? PTSD, dog. Okay. Keystone Film Studios, Illusion Field Site 2. Corner. Okay, let's head on over. <clears throat> The city does look nicer at night as well, I feel. All the lights and stuff. Legion Field Site, 9.06 p.m. He can get her what she needs. <laughs> well, I, I, I suppose so. I mean, that's the whole point of... Uh, not the whole point, but... Kind of the biology. Kind of the psychology is... You are with the person that provides you what you need when you're a woman. And if that person doesn't provide you what you need, you latch on to a different one. <laughs> Blinking lights. Let's check it out. Ooh, I heard something. What was that? Right there? The light switch. Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. There's no wires. Yeah. But maybe they're not done, Doug. Maybe they just put it there for now. Right? You know, give them the benefit of the doubt. The walls are not done. <laughs> Uh, get up there, dog. What the hell? What's going on in here? Hmm. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Oh. <laughs> Dang. That's a bad smile. One, two, one. Ha. All right. Ha. 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 Yeah. Ha. Eat it, boy. Finish him. Oh, bullied. <laughs> Check out the bully playlist on the channel. It's another Rockstar game. <laughs> yeah, nice suits. Oh, slumped. Yeah, it's hard to fend off three men alone. True. Even if you're a trained fighter, man, three men, it's going to be hard to deal with you're if they're big. Tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get them downstairs and into the trunk. <laughs> 
Dang. He tried though, he tried to get them to just throw hands and they did. But his bet wasn't. You know, it didn't suffice. Now he's in a trunk. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the <laughs> trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. Mr. Monroe. Pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> Shit. Imagine your lackey saying your name over the phone like that. Oh, nice. Get away. He didn't notice a thing. <laughs> Shit. Elsa. Oh, initiating getaway procedures. <laughs> Get in a vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Thank you, sir. I need that. Use alleyways Sorry, and back streets to make it to Elsa's. Desperate times. I don't. <laughs> Okay, Elsa's. <laughs> it's chess, not checkers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is uh, a lot more complicated. I'm in a rush! Elsa! Monroe owns the city, owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Elsa! Shit! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're good. They're right behind us. Ding, ding. Oh. Oh. Do you like L.A. Noir? Don't forget to go on down there and like the stream hey. below. Hey! Got him. It's a long drive to Elsa's, ain't it? Miss me, boy. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, Feel sir. My fitness report is not going to look good after that. Elsa's way more important than these random men on the street living their lives. Is that the last of them? Woo, nice. Here we are. Dang, he's beat up, you know. Is he gonna steal Phelps' girl, too? You're not married, are you, Kelso? Scream, girl. 
So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole? Ouch. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! <laughs> House of Sticks. Case report. Clues found. 9 out of 11. Questions correct. 2 out of 3. Zero vehicle damage, $50 in injuries. I didn't kill that man. That's good. He only got $50 in injuries. The truth is out on Elysian Fields, despite Leyland Monroe's best efforts to bury it. Case closed. Meritorious. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire teams checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Hogue Boom, weapons compass. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogue Boom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them We in are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! You tell them, Phelps. Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. A polite invitation. You're looking good, Elsa. Dang, girl. You don't look not but 40 years old. Hello, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Months. Castle. You look lovely, Princess. What? You haven't exactly caught me at my best. Is that a phrase they used back in those days? That was a weird thing it's to okay, say, my guy. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. <laughs> Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Mm. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. You go on and do princess That's things. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. Mm-hmm. I hope so too, Princess. <laughs> See, Princess, what the hell? I like that. Why are you calling her Princess, brother? Y'all was weird in the 40s, huh? You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, Assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Jack. 
That was funny. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. <laughs> I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. <laughs> it's going to get me elected. Well, he won't less. <laughs> How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? More work for less money. Hmm. No, thank you. New objective, pay Curtis Benton a visit. Yes. Uh, Thanks for the patch up, Princess. It might be the only R&R &R I get for some time. Is that a different girl? You combat veterans have more holes than a lump of Swiss cheese. Okay, yeah. Get out of here. All right, princess. We so don't want to see you coming in hurt again. All right, so it is a 40s thing to call uh, women princess like that. I thought that might have been Elsa changed into a nurse outfit. <laughs> She's not a nurse. I don't know why she would have changed like that, but he called her princess, and I was like, I guess he just calls everybody princess. It makes sense, but it's still weird. I mean, I feel like it's even more weird now that it's a thing that you call everybody. If it was just a thing between he and Elsa, it might have been okay in a weird way. I oh, can get in the other side, yeah. You don't have a partner to drive you, I forgot. Sorry, brother. Curtis Benson's apartment, 9.46 a.m. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. He was being flirtatious. I mean, you could flirt with all the girls, I guess. That's true. You call all the girls princess because, I mean, many women are attractive. That's true. You can be like, hey, princess. That's the good 40s way of flirting. I prefer Luis, um, what's his name? Luis, uh, from Grand Theft Auto, The Ballad of Gay Tony. Luis, what's his last name? It's not Lopez, right? Maybe it is. Luis Fernando something. He went to a club in that game, Grand Theft Auto. He went to a club, and all he did was say, Hey girl, wanna have sex? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. And they had sex. That's the way to do it. Where the heck am I going right now? Hold on a second. I was just talking about random crap. Lopez. Oh, it was, it was right. Okay. <laughs> Luis, yeah, Fernando Lopez. Something like that. Uh, yeah, pay Curtis Benson a visit. Where is he at? Which... Apartment 740, apartment 2. Okay. Apartment 2, got it. Which one's apartment 2? This one says 1, I guess. So is this one? No, that's not apartment 2. Apartments 2 and 3, okay. I <laughs> got it. Smart. Remember me? Jack! It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. Mm -hmm. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. You're fired. True. Who do you think you are? 
Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Bot bitch. Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. I'm gonna sniff in your drawers, too. Not yours. Your wife's. You're married, right? Okay. Go look around. Can you not look at anything on there? Okay, I guess not. Put that down. Nice busts in here. Yeah, you're an extravagant man. You can tell this man's a... He's got some fine, rich tastes up in here. Eddie Wason classics. Yeah. Sucks. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Uh, terrible music, I guess, sir. <laughs> and all of it. Everything. As Icer said. Ooh, watermelon, sprinkle some uh, salt on there. People still seem to think that's a crazy thing to do, sprinkling salt on watermelon. You're crazy if you think it's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, there's, gla there's lipstick on the other one, though. Look at that. I don't think you can zoom in, though, huh? Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. No, I haven't made any such thing, sir. You made a mistake trying to murder a man that can murder you back. That's the first mistake you ever made in your life. First and last, I mean. Anything in here? Oh, it's outside, dog. No, don't leave. Here's a... Share certificate. Stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. Mmm, tagine, yeah, that's some good stuff. I love it with, what uh, exactly do you expect to find, Jack? like, candy as well. Like, tagine and, like, you you mix some, like, some other powder as well. Um, delicious. <laughs> My mouth is water. Fire and life, yeah. Insurance agreement, 1105. I knew you were in Curtis. Yep. Now I know why. Mm hmm Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. Breezy. You reading these breezy magazines, boy, or is that that girl you had over drinking out of that glass, leaving her lipstick on the thing? Huh? How hard is it to get lipstick off glass? I don't wash glasses with lipstick on them. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. You're 52 years old. Is that right? Hmm? He's not going to say anything? This is the first time the person we're interviewing, interviewing has never said anything when you're just staring at him like that. They usually say something. Like, every time. Every single character has said something except for him. He's the only one that hasn't said anything. That's weird. <laughs> I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Dear boy. You freaking bum. You wanna die? What is it with you people? How can you live any better? You already have houses, cars, yachts. Greed and avarice are very powerful forces for change, Jack. Combine that with the city's desire for progress, and it's a very heady cocktail. Mm. You need to heady. be a very special man to be able to resist that. Very special man. Yeah. Very special man, indeed. I mean... I can't just look at his legs real quick? Dang. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet Join the demand forces. for new homes. What kind of evidence do I have in here? I wasn't... Yeah, the inferior lumber and crap. You're gay for saying, saying what? What's wrong with being gay? Redevelopment fund, semi-government agency, partially funded by private investment. Share certificate, yeah, and the, the insurance agreement. Inferior lumber. 
inferior lumber. And would you just say, sir? You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Mm -hmm. Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement <laughs> cost. The stakes are much, much uh. higher. Okay, okay. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack. Brilliant. Taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? What do you mean what you would you would know? Hold on a second. What you mean what you would you would do what you do? <laughs> yeah, I mean there's uh, the inferior lumber, but I mean like Keystone Films. Not for structural use. You smoke, Jack came with three evidence. <laughs> it's an insurance scam, pure and simple. And how do you prove that, Jack? My assessors wrote the policies on the houses. Your assessors, huh? Your assessors didn't assess the inferior lumber? I only approve the reports, Jack. I'm the rubber stamp. This doesn't come back to me. Uh-huh. Dang. Very neat. Chris. One out of three. <laughs> maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD He's way ever smarter had. than me. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Well, he's threatening him. I mean, he tried to get him murdered, so I guess it's fine that he threatens him. Makes sense. Good old mobsters, man. They were some real gangsters that beat him up. Alright, let's go back to Cal California Fire and Life. 505 South Vermont Avenue. It's so sad this guy has no partner to be partnered with. Just driving around the city on his own. Having to be his own motivation to get things done. His own account accountability. California Fire and Life, 9.59 a.m. He could have just been a corrupt guy like all the other guys. He could have just stopped, but he didn't. Yeah, I gotta be certain that's I'm for sure. I'm just going up to my office party. Gotta check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Oh, I wish I could afford that. Take the elevator and then the first door on the right when I come out. You, you know the way, Kelso. Thank you, sir. Coin doesn't know the way. Forties elevator sounds scary, dog. Uh, uh. It's like a death machine. Wait, first door on the right when you come out, he said. I just kept going. It's right here. There we go. So, Curtis. What is it you don't want me to see? What is it you don't want me to see? 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Mm -hmm. Do that west. Use L to read entries and press A to select. There's Corner got to be page. more in these files. I mean, we read this one already, right? Timothy Lee, Senior Claims Investigator. There's something else in that report. I know it. Something else in that report. Right here. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is 3500 
Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Hmm. I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to Send see. Send in, girl. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that hmm. private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? Dick patter. It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semprify. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with the Legion Fields developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. Mm -hmm. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? He had that on his mind not. for a long time, huh? The Hall of Records is the place to start. The Hall of Records. Ten fifteen AM. Where's Phelps? Is he with us? Are you our partner? No. <laughs> that sucks. You couldn't partner up with me, partner? Two Marines together, Semper Fi. You need some help there, sir? The land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Yeah, these old government buildings are real nice. <laughs> stay hard. Yeah, he, he can force yourself to stay hard, that's for sure. What? Land red? Oh, it's this way. <laughs> okay, right here. Hello, sir. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Okay. Right here. You could have taken it out for me, sir. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Suburban sons of bitches. Directors, company. Veteran home care. Directors and shareholders, huh? Hmm. Children's Toys Collection Company Suburban Redevelopment Fund Leyland Monroe there Jeff Fletcher Of 
Courtney, Courtney Sheldon. For God's sake. What's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. <laughs> I believe that is in the Wilshire area. What? Here. No way you would know that off your head, dog. 34 degrees. Click all the names. Minutes, yeah, it, it made me back out as soon as I tapped on the, that last one. 118 degrees. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit. 17 minutes. I wasn't listening. <laughs> seconds. Oh, west. God. Wait, wait, dog. I wasn't listening the whole time. I know he kept repeating it, but I wasn't paying attention at all. Oh, no. Can I back out and do it again? Do you say it again? <laughs> dog. <laughs> it was 34.4. Point two nine latitude. Three four. And I'm looking for one one eight point one seven point five eight on the longitudinal axis. One seven point point one eight. Was you, oh God dang it! <laughs> You're making me remember numbers, Doc. Can you say it again? Thirty four degrees. Four minutes. Twenty nine seconds 29 north. Twenty nine seconds north. Yeah. Hundred and eighteen degrees. Yeah, I, I did it. Seventeen minutes. Seventeen minutes. Oh, fifty eight seconds. Fifty eight seconds west. Oh. Fifty. Fifty eight. Oops. I did eighteen. That's it. The lot numbers one eight seven six nine eight eight. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. The hell, dog? 1876988. Divided by... 90,000, yes. Oh, my lord. 90,000. Okay. One million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight divided by ninety thousand. Yank it. 20. 20. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. Oh my god, dog. You do this every day? Uh. Wait, 21, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, U. Let's see what the site is worth to them. Okay. Owner. Kind of hard to read. One eight seven six nine eight eight. Six nine eight eight. One eight seven six nine eight eight. One eight seven six nine nine eight. What? <laughs> One six seven eight. One eight seven six nine eight eight. Six nine eight eight. Here. Six, nine. Book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing. 
But how do they pull it off? Hmm. Oh God. How'd they get in here with them guns, dog? Oh, you have one too. Know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. <laughs> one thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Oh, are you trying to fire upon me, you son of a bitch? What you think this is, you chicken? Oh shit. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. What the hell? Ouch. <laughs> you almost got me. I got you now, motherfucker. No, you don't. Throw out the guns. I hear something. <laughs> Get your ass up, dog. What I say? Reloading. How long do you think you can hold out? Oh crap! I'm trying to. One more. Look at his head. Look at that. Oh, buddy. Oh, he moved. Christ. That's missed. Easy work, boy. What you gonna shoot at, dog? The granite wall? The heck you think that is? They pull it off by moving people in, send them work, on vacation, Courtney. and recoup the insurance okay, money. Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. But they mess up when people stay Can home. Tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund. What murders happen. About? Don't fuck with me, Courtney. Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the suburban redevelopment fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Everybody's listening to. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. <laughs> TMI. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial something that's going to help out the guys you got course, played building play. matchstick houses they're going to burn them for the insurance money they'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits please jack say it isn't so no it's so dog harlan's a doctor a good one he helps out a lot of people looks like he's helping himself courtney you're the fall guy Dang. Got taken advantage of, brother. Kelso's apartment, 6 p.m. Look at that. What you wearing, dog? What you got on? Looking suave. Like Don Carleone said, never let the opposition know what you're thinking. That's a good uh, life lesson in general. I feel. Even if they're not opposition. Grab the phone. Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? Mm -hmm. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. 
I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? Jack Wick. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. He's just loading up his weapons. Ready to Good night, Mr. Monroe. murder some fools. You killed my dog. I feel like Jack maybe needs a dog. He seems lonely. No partner, no woman, no dog. Maybe that's why he's so gung-ho with his job. Kelso's apartment, 7 p.m. Willing to die, because, you know, purpose in life. Okay. I mean, your purpose is what you make it. This could be his purpose. I wouldn't judge him. But I could. I feel like you could have a better purpose, brother. You're gonna die. Leyland Monroe's mansion. Let's go. Uh, palatial house and grounds. Residence of Leyland Monroe. 50, 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. Yeah, rich people. Place. Let's go. Oh yeah, we got regular horn. Because we don't got the cop horns. Sirens. I go this way. <laughs> Why is everybody screaming, yo? Maybe I shouldn't go down this way, huh? This is literally nothing. <laughs> Trying to find shortcuts, it ends up taking longer. Hollywood land. Yeah, it seems like Kelso's out more at night as well it's kind of cool because during the day or um when you're playing as the cops you're mostly on the cases during day it's the age-old story of cutting the head off the dragon yeah girl in its place through that one man what's your problem ready to take on Goliath. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Is this his place? No. <laughs> Imagine just going to random places like, oh, is this it? I mean, you can do that. It's fine. It's just like very time consuming. <laughs> it wasn't that one. Let me look at the map. Okay. Oh, it's down the road even more. Okay, so we can take the swoop D road right there. That's what they call them. This way. Real curvaceous roads. Freshly paved. And here is the place, I suppose. Leyland Monroe's Mansion, 11 p.m. 2300 hours. This game has better traffic AI than Cyberpunk. I appreciate the help, all of you. I wish there was first person driving. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys no. are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. That guy in the back. I know you from other sh TV shows and movies, man. Okay. You ready, boys? I'm blasting. 
It's on and popping, boys. Yeah, heck yeah. I, I hope so too. Okay, let's let's push up. That's a friendly. How long do you think you can hold out? I got you now, motherfucker! Where's he at? Where's he at? That's a kill! That's a kill. Keep your head down! Shit. Keep your head down. Reloading. Good kill! Nail that son of a bitch! Oh yeah, boys. Midnight in your neighborhood on New Year's. <laughs> Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. It's like fireworks and gunfire at the same time. You mix in the gunfire with the fireworks. Go. That's a kill. Yeah, call out your kills, boys. Be proud. Got him. Scold. His hat flew. Look at that. That's my hat now, boy. Pushing up, boys. Pushing up. How about some more, asshole? Got the best. All right, man. Hold the crowd. Yep. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. You sloppy ass bastards. Yeah, okay, what was over here? Something's shining. Okay. You're surrounded and your buddies are dead! Tango down! There's one right here. Shit. <laughs> uh, I love when you have infinite ammo. I'm pretty sure we do anyway. Makes it much easier. There it is. Go I don't know if you can turn Keep on your going, shoulder, Jack. like which shoulder you're aiming from. Or I think I just did. Boink. You son of a bitch. Grab that. Oh. You're a very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. It's a small gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Oh! Oh, slumped! Dang. <laughs> Ouch. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. Good job, girl. I was never very good at reading women. Nobody is not even other women. Monroe! Where are you, damn it? Got you, son of a bitch. What do you think this is, boy? Movement, movement, movement. If you move, they can't hit you, you son of a bitch. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. <laughs> Your That's how they show affection, yeah. True. You just bleed a little bit. That's, that's life, though. Oh, shit. Come on, boy. What you gonna do about it, huh? Oh! Weapon down now. About time. 
You're lucky I have infinite ammo, brother. I don't know why he's lucky about that. I'm lucky, I guess. Clear. Get your hands off that yeah, safe. Go, so. That's my opening negotiating position. Yo. Ha! Yes. Who you crazy son of a bitch? Whoever How does that, I love it. You just I'm shoot him. Get me a doctor. No talking, just shoot him immediately. I had an Monroe. And now you can your talk. Boys outside were certainly expecting me. <laughs> That's my second offer. Dang. You sadistic bastard. <clears throat> What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Best way to negotiate, yeah. No negotiating with terrorists, you son of a bitch. Look at this. What you got here, boy? The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah! Call me an ambulance already! Oh, you'll be alright for now, sir. At least in another five minutes. Suburban Redevelopment Fund promises 10,000. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new house why is my name on the board of managers technically you are a major contributor please call me those houses are a sham doctor they're going to be burned for the insurance that's a scandalous allegation courtney do you have any proof jack kelso an investigator for california fire and light has seen them he was almost killed when he found out what was going on. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. <laughs> Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Manu. Oh, no. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. Oh, All court. the troubles are finally over. Oh. Let them go. Let them. Drift away. Wow. You just let your own doctor murder you, dog. Sucks. <clears throat> Dead men are heavier. Shoot something. I got some kind of achievement up there. Oh, look at these. All these names crossed off. Morelli. There's Morelli's. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. Mm -hmm. What else you got in here, you dumb? Oh, can I check your safe, actually? There we go. That's what I'm talking about, brother. That's a hell of a payroll. Mm. Indeed. I don't see coin on there. All right, that means I'm not corrupt. Right. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Up here, there you go. What you got here? Intelligence report, Department of Police, Hollywood. Criminal intelligence report on Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine. <laughs> Dr. Harlan, Harlan J. Fontaine is implicated in the supply and distribution of narcotics in the greater L.A. County area. In his capacity as a clinical psychiatrist, he has dispensed large quantities of contraband morphine to drug dealers and users under the pretext of prescribing treatment for his 
patients. Between 18 July and September 3, 1947, 22 suspects arrested for narcotics possession claimed that the drugs were medications given to them to alleviate the symptoms of various psychiatric illnesses. Several showed paperwork to this effect. No pattern was noticed by arresting officers, however, and no further action has been taken since. MK Ultra. Sincerely, Roy Earl. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Yeah. Keep it under close surveillance until time has, as a comprehensive legal brief can be assembled. Yeah. Let's see. It can't be stopped, Council. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. <laughs> Have some fucking mercy! Shogun. Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <clears throat> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? <clears throat> Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Just shoot him, dog. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name! He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! A bug sprayer? Just piss on his wound, Jack. Maybe that'll help him. Kill her, you son of a whore! Give me a goddamn doctor! Imagine that just unzipping, not saying a word, and just starting to pee on his leg. I think that would be funny. Facial animation, they got so good, yeah. It was next level when they released this as well. Clues found 7 out of 7 questions, 1 out of 3. 33.3%. Case closed. Meritorious. A plight invitation. Case notes. Search Benson's apartment. You'll find he deserves much worse than a smack in the mouth. Nicholson electroplating. Venus from Jack. There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Come on, Biggs. Jack's across the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side right now. Whoa. Christ, what was that? An explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped Are the Are we in Pearl Harbor us? right Calm now? Down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. All right, head toward the fallout. <laughs> oh, we got Fallout London coming like April 24th or something like that. That's going to be cool. I'm definitely playing that game. Downtown. We have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Put them down. No cuffing. You know, you prick. Yeah. That yeah, I'm gonna pump some rounds into his no, ass, boy. Got him. <laughs> Cops shooting people in the back like that. Imagine finding 10 bullet holes in somebody's back. 
Yeah. Jesus. The show as well. I, I mean, the, 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 there's like a fan-made game, Fallout London, coming out. But there's the, the show as well. I'm definitely going to watch the show. Jesus Christ. More people. We got to find out what went down. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. They used uh, cool tech. All these are... Uh, Good actors as well. I'm here now, man. What in God's name happened here? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. Look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, mm. appealing for calm. Television? We're gonna afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. Yeah, it's so it's so good, Mike. The worlds turn upside down. And this is an old game. And it's time game. for us to do our jobs. They usually don't put so much work into facial stuff like that. It obviously makes sense for a game like this, Detective. Alright, let me go up this way, actually. A detective game. Burned up feetsies, yeah, that's natural. Nothing back there. Yeah, it's interesting. We're back with Phelps now. I didn't realize it was gonna like jump between characters. I thought it was gonna be. I thought we were gonna be done with Phelps and then play as another character or something. Nope. Use a bit of it for animals in Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, interesting. They did that in Red Dead 2. That's cool. I feel like Cyberpunk has very good facial animations. They use, uh,. I forgot what they use, but some company that produced it. Basically a company that only does like facial animations or something like that. Nothing around there. Making it feel real, yeah. That's it, Mr. Yeah, the, We're right. Indeed. The lip syncing and stuff for like different languages much, too. Think it went okay? Couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Because that's that's one of the issues, right? Is like you um translating for different languages. But they have it to where it lip syncs it perfectly. I don't think so. Yeah, no. Came across as, uh, nice leather. I thought four fix was a tough break. Oh, yeah. Poor girl. That's a girl's arm. Confirmed. Hey, detective! What's I up? think I got something here. What'd you find, sir? Any idea what this is? A very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? Try putting it back. There. Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Was that it? With a fine tooth comb. Not much help. Yeah. yeah. Hold on a second. Okay.
coin. Optimistic goal. It looks like a coin. <laughs> yeah, optimistic. Phelps! I think I found something over here. You think so? Hold on, sir. Looks like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. Yeah, I guess. Laundry tag. Was that what you were yelling about finding when I was picking that up? Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. What's up? Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh. What's this? Ooh. Yeah. Men in black. It erased his memory. Espionage. Spy camera. Only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Right. Yeah, not men in black alien thing. Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. <laughs> Anal bead? <laughs> he put it in his pocket. Why'd you put that in your pocket? What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. Oh. You know what to do with them? Yeah. Maybe. I used them in OCS. Okay. Let's see. These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. Okay, the first letter. Is it H equals K? Oh, I was doing it the opposite way. Yeah, I don't know why they don't explain the mechanic in the game. So I was turning the... The inner ring, you're not supposed to turn the inner ring. You're supposed to align H and K, which I was doing. H equals K. That's so simple. But then you're supposed to turn the outer ring afterward. That's all you have to do. And then you go, like, K, right? S. Is that what you do? Yeah. See, NV. NV popped up. Then you go to B, O. B. And then O. And then J L. J L. Then uh, K Q. I was trying the inner ring like this the whole time earlier. That's why I wasn't doing anything. K. Q. N Vermont. Oh, and then XSB. Okay. X. S. B. N Vermont. Impressive. North Vermont One, Avenue. Two, three, yeah. Three, North Vermont Avenue. My God. Yeah, because I was doing it the opposite way that you were supposed to do it. I guess I should go back on there. Okay. Now let's go use the phone. I think we've looked all around here. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. Yeah. Holy Bible. It doesn't appear to be connected. It could be, brother. You never know. Just straight up pick up this arm like that. I've never picked up a burnt up arm before. Now I can say I've done it. I think that's it, partner. Biggs. Where was that phone? It showed the phone was like kind of close to us. I'm Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. Mm. 
56 years old, owner and proprietor of Nicholson Electroplating. Can you tell us what happened? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, was it? Uh, I think they were the classified They were just like the little dings that I already found. Because I was hearing them too. Hmm. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. But the process could be worth millions. Millions, huh? Who is Tomoko Akamoto? Dr. McClellan's Tomoko personal assistant. Okamoto. She came highly recommended. I mean, that sounds right, but you you give me reason to doubt you, sir. So you hire a chemical whiz kid and his assistant without checking either one of them out. Hindsight is a great thing, detective. Mm. And I should have looked more closely at their references. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He Press approached him. me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it is legitimate research. Is it, sir? Is it legitimate? So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do? You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. Oh, man, yeah. What's wrong with turning a buck? That's what he does, Doug. You blew up six blocks! God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's <laughs> laudable. I regret that. Be in touch. Two out of three. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamoto's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. Hmm. Dank ass hoes, huh? Okay. Let's go find a phone partner. I feel like it was over here. I don't know why I was showing a phone on the, the mini-map when I was inside of there. Unless there was a... F oh, there's one up here, I guess. There it is. That's what it was showing. Man, that's far away. Come on. There you go. Run. Find and inspect some prop. I got some kind of achievement. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. Mm -hmm. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P and W Wasp Major R4360. Good memory, man. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. She's the VIP of the game. Investigate, or MVP, I mean, not VIP. MVP. All right, you ready, Biggs? We need to get our car back. No running at the crime scene. You can only jog slowly. Let's go, Biggs. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> yeah, she got Google. 1940s Google. She out there in the, the yellow pages is flipping through. Yeah. 
You think McGlone went up in smoke? Or is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tom Akamato. Yo, he crashed. I guess she could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working on it. He definitely crashed. Here we are. Superior Laundry Services, 1019 AM. Looks like a nice joint. What do you need? Hello, sir. Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Mac. Alright. Number was uh J2620 Cole. Yes, Oscar. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? Yeah. No. No. Dead end. Yeah, pick up. Hmm. Thank you for all your help, sir. Use the phone. It's loud in here. Operator, give me dispatch. The machines were loud in the day, huh? Back in the day. Putting you through now. Felt 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, Detective. Sorry. Thanks for your help. Dang. All right. Let's go, Biggs. Asian dry cleaner, yeah. I noticed it immediately once he spoke. You can drive. <laughs> Bye. Where are we headed? Unidentified address. 133 North Vermont. Maybe this is Oscar's ap or, uh, address, huh? I mean, maybe not. This was the deciphered address. 10.21 a.m. We got here in two minutes. Okay, let's go up here. Reminds me of sleeping dogs for some reason. Yeah, Tomoko. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? Well, well. Hey, Miss Akamato. You're, you've been naughty, girl. Apartment one, this one. Blood. So I turned the place over. Better watch your step. Yeah, don't slip on the dry blood, dog. What's this? Retired Los Angeles police tie pin. You know what this is, Biggs? Sure. That apartment gives you one of those when you retire. Right. Is it gold? But that's kind of cool of them. Usually, they just give you nothing and tell you to go. Leave. Get out of the department. We don't need you no more. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Looks like you can paddle your friend with it. It's a brush, but you can paddle someone with a brush. It's one of these things again. Looks like we have a match. Yeah, the earring. Oh. Interesting dame, the Sakamoto. Microfilm. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. <laughs> Brother. I hope that was a joke. Okay. You're just gonna leave him there? Why? You put it in your pocket before, and now you're gonna leave it in the apartment together like that? That's so weird. He brought the one piece with him, and now he's leaving them both here? That's so strange to me. Why would you do that? What's not strange is hitting that like button. That's actually a very normal thing to do. Try it. What's in here? Oh! 
Oh, he was stuffed in there, huh? You think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. No, not you, man. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. Hop on over him. Straddle his body. One at the head, one at the heart. Point blank. Mm hmm. John Doe. Check his. Let's see here. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. Mm. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Huh. Wow, you struggled, huh? Wow, cool, man. You were a kid, right? And you're still carrying that with you? What, 40 years later, sir? Okay. Could be a class ring. Hmm. Class ring, indeed. Oop, no, put that down. There you go. Put it down. Put it... Biggs. H525. I don't I'll think you can search anything else. 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. Yeah, I think we've seen everything. Let me use the phone. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch 1247, messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nick's that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. Hmm. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part. Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. All right, investigate Hughes Aircraft. Prop spinner clue updated. Let's get out of here, Biggs. You're behind the wheel. So what do you want to do? Anger. It's all coming together. Get in the car, partner. Man, this city's cool, though. Like, I wish... This would be a cool game to kind of maybe... Well, I mean, they should just make a second one or something. But I was going to say, like, remake it. But it holds up on its own already, you know? Hughes Aircraft, 1027 AM. So yeah, a second one. You state your cool. business. Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, Detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs. You're not still with the LAPD. You know this bomb? So, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. I found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. Yeah, you can't. You, you can't won't be able to do that today. You can't just have a random guy be like, yeah, I vouch for him. Yeah, bring him on in. Skele I mean, he's Who not a random Mapes? guy, but. And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck beds for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Pearl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model. Finish what you're saying, brother. Oh, man, I interrupted you by oh, getting man. out of the car, huh? They can't speak in different bases. You have to be in the same space to speak about one subject. Good day, hmm. miss. Yeah. Nothing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, yeah. 
This is the spruce group. Jesus Christ, Biggs. You want to get me fired? <laughs> Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Biggs? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. All right, Mr. Vernon. You're, so you're 54 years old, huh? That's cool. Former LAPD officer and Hughes Aircraft head of security. Brown hair, brown eyes. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Spruce Goose. Heard the boom while I was shaving. I like Almost it. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. <laughs> Pearl Harbor, huh? Can you not lie to me, though, sir? But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. Well, calm down there, Phelps. I'm in security. Yo, I yeah, we all wearing hats up in here. If you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Okay. Do you know Tomiko Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? Uh, you gulped, dog. Why'd you gulp? Hold on a second, sir. Buy camera, espionage, deciphered message, tie pin. LAPD type in same apartment hmm Concealed on a dead body. I don't think I can just call him out about that though the retirement pin right now That's probably for later micro printed document Not inside ladies earring. Yeah, the microfilm Just doubt you don't happen to wear an LAPD type pin, do you? Oh, was it that sometimes? Could I have I caught him in a lie? For my days on the force. But because that's not really proof, right? No, it's a check mark. We're good. Knowledge of McClellan. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. He seems a little doubtful about something, right? Did Hughes have a contract with Nicholson? Hey, kid. Lose the tone. Hughes has contracts with every plating shop in L.A. We'd like to discuss these contracts with Mr. Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's a riot, Biggs. See Howard Hughes? Harry Truman has to make an appointment to see Howard Hughes. Wow. Thanks for your help, Mr. Two Biggs. out of three. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Hmm. You want to take a look inside her? And her? Take a look inside her? I don't know about... Sounds weird. But I guess. Let's go. Hard at work. Or hardly working. <laughs> Alcott's... Linseed oil, yeah. McClellan's process was going to replace all this. The linseed oil. Let's see. Yeah, everything echoes around here. Oh, that's cool. Up we go. This seems entirely unsafe to do with your shoes like that, your leather soled shoes. Anything around here? Oh shit! He latches on quick. There you go, slide down. Okay, now we're inside her. Move, sir. Get your ass out of my way.
latitude 24 degrees 15 minutes north, longitude 76 degrees 0 minutes west. Mm -hmm. Mexico. Can you interact, please? Seventy-six degrees west. Twenty-four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Right, seventy. Oh. Seventy-six degrees west. Oh, seventy-six degrees. Fifteen minutes north. Oh my god, this is weird. Can I use the keyboard? <laughs> this is easier. Oh man. Okay. What is it? 70. 76 degrees west. <laughs> Blooming on you. It's a detective game, Blake. We out here detecting. What'd you say? 76 degrees? He keeps repeating it, but I'm not really paying it that much attention. 76 degrees west. 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. 24 degrees. Right Let's there. See where this is exactly. The Bahamas. You know. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. The Bahamas. Anything else in here? No, seems not. But there are a bunch of playlists on the channel, that's for sure. A whole lot of different games we'd be playing. As it seems like we're going to be ending LA, t LA Noir tonight. Okay, I mean, what else is there in here? Anything else? Breeding your Allosaurus. That sounds dirty. So what next? Check Mape's office, but easy does it. You find something, he could turn nasty pretty quick. Got it. Is his office over here? Looks like Mape's office is in the far corner. Let's go see what he's hiding. Got it. Right here. <laughs> hey girl, what's up? The receptionist always looked the same. Is this not his office? What the hell are you talking about? His office in the corner. Is the other corner or something, dog? Or is it upstairs? Like up this thing right here. Is this a corner office? Yes, that's it. Don't think this is anything. Maybe. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Yeah, blue room. Oh, Ark. <laughs> yeah, I hate Ark. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just not, not a great game. There we go. The body. Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. The body. Does she barely got a body? I mean, she's she has a nice body. Unknown address, Second Street, something Second Street. Couldn't look on the back of the picture though. this beauty probably nothing I mean it's beautiful that's what I think seems like we've 
just about seen everything we need to. I'm stumped. Ideas? We should search the hang. Something tells me we won't get another chance to go around it here. Yeah, keep searching the hangar a bit. Let's go see. No, I didn't search everything just yet. Like around here and stuff. Nothing of interest. Still loads of these engines. You think that cone could come off one of them? Cone could come off one of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Over here. Is that a Pratt & Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motor. Sure you don't. Look at the props We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. Right? What is the oily covering on the metal? We coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, linseed oil. Looks nice. When you get what you need, the game Let's will prompt you. Has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Yeah, that was it. Probably done tinkering. Return to Wilshire Station. Okay. Yo, partner. Just in time. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? Nah. You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. <laughs> nah, I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. Decent partner, right there. Let's go, partner. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Oh, we can't get the fragment. Fragment of address visible in photograph. It's on 2nd Street. Do I just go there? That's interesting. It's on 2nd Street? Can I, like, just, just... Let me go to the police station. Maybe we'll, we'll get the full address. I imagine that's how you do it. You probably don't just go to 2nd Street and walk around. So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting Well, I mean, out maybe you do. You can look at the photo, that, right? This would never go all the way up to Hughes. You would have middlemen dealing with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? Word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. Yeah, he's definitely a middleman. Oh, really? If, if there's a lot more, then yeah, because I mean, I'm getting to the point where I probably should be. Wrapping up, it's 3 a.m. Man, in fact, I think that's a good, I think it's great that you posted that because I feel like I do want to have another stream of this. So I don't want to rush it tonight because it would probably take a while to finish it off. We are four hours in. Thank you everybody for joining. Icerith for being here the entire time. And uh, yeah, leave some comments down below. Check out the schedule. We got more coming up. Uh, Coin.cc slash schedule. This game we will play again next Saturday. I typically have like Cyberpunk or this game, but it's going to be this one because I want to finish it. It's very good. And uh, yeah, we're going to be back in here again. Tomorrow we have, I Wake believe, up, Cole. Vice City Stories, Grand Theft Auto. Check it out. Thank you for joining again, and I'll see you next time.